Hi, my name is Bill Raymond, and in this e-learning best practices video, I'm going to talk all about audio. I think what you'll find when we get into this is that the difference between using your computer's audio equipment or a uh, middle of the road piece of gear versus using professional equipment is night and day. The differences are astounding. So let's go ahead and get into it. First, let's start by using my computer's microphone. As you can hear, there's a lot of echo in the background. I'm just sitting in a standard office like most people would if they were building this training. They don't have a professional uh, sound room in order to do the recording. You also notice that any kind of background noise that occurs, such as doors knocking, people walking by, you're even picking up a glass of water, it's all going to be picked up and very noticeable by the person taking your training. There's another problem with the computer microphone, and that's the fact that the keyboard and mouse are right near it. So if I just click my mouse here, just clicked it a few times so you could hear it, and now I'm going to go ahead and type something. Now, I did not modify this video at all or type really hard on my keyboard. That's just how it sounds. Now, Again, for short videos, not a problem. For a long training video, that's going to be an issue. Imagine having to hear that clacking sound as you're typing on your keyboard. That person watching your training is going to disconnect and they may not finish watching it. After listening to me talk on my computer's microphone, you might be wondering what it's like when you purchase some sort of expensive headset that ought to sound pretty good and maybe even advertises itself as podcasting ready or computer training ready. This is what most computer devices sound like, audio devices sound like, when you plug them into the audio port in your computer. Not that they're all the same, but this is a pretty well-known, well-established piece of equipment. Now, certainly I'm going to click the mouse again. You can hear it's not as loud. I'll go ahead and type something. So that's reasonable. It's not too bad. It certainly could sound better. But again, my voice still sounds like there's an echo in the background and it's going to pick up a lot of external noises. I'm in the same office, but with a professional microphone. And this microphone was created by a company that specializes in microphones for radio and music. It doesn't have to be a lot of money. This microphone costs about $200. I'll list what I use in the notes for this video. Now let me let you listen to the mouse clicking. And I'll type something. As you can hear, it's hardly even noticeable. And that's a good thing. The people listening to your training and watching your video, what they want to do is focus on learning. They don't want to be distracted by loud clacking noises, especially if they're watching your training with a headset on. It's going to be very loud and distracting to them. So using a professional microphone does really matter. Thank you for watching this video. We would really appreciate it if you press the like button. If you have any comments, please feel free to use the comment section.